Hey everyone, Tyler Bristow here with centerlinemapping.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can pair a subsite utility guard to pipe locator with the Point Man mobile application. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to turn this camera around and let's let you see what I'm looking at. Okay, so I've got the subsite machine right here. First thing that we want to do is we want to power this machine on. I'm going to power it on. Okay, so what we want to do is go into the settings. So we're going to go over here. We're going to hold down this peak mode button. We're going to go down here to, we're going to go through configuration and we're going to click this button right here, the frequency button. And that's basically going to let you drill down further into this configuration option. And then we're going to go to settings. Next, we're going to go into communications. Now what we want to do is go into Bluetooth. So now that we're in Bluetooth, we're going to go ahead and connect. And hopefully it's going to connect to my Galaxy S9 device that I've got in my hand right next to it. I've got Bluetooth on, so it should be able to find it. Okay, so as you can see, I found my Galaxy S9 mobile phone. I'm going to go ahead and choose that unit. So what we're doing is we're pairing this Utility Guard 2 to this mobile phone that I've got that we're going to go take out in the field. So it's asking me on my phone right now, do I want to pair with this unit? Yes. I'm going to click OK. Now it's connecting. OK, so it looks like it connected to my Galaxy S9. And you can go back and under Unpair, you can see what devices we have paired with. So as you can see, we've paired to the Galaxy S9. So the next step is going to be going out into the field, locating pipes, and using Point Man to collect some data and taking data off this unit, such as depth, currency, and frequency, and storing it in some of those points and lines that we're going to be collecting and creating with Point Man. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll go out into the field. video to demonstrate how you can pair the mobile point man application with a utility guard 2 pipe locator so we've already paired the two back at the office where internet connections are a little bit stronger and now I'm out in the field I want to demonstrate how we can map out an electrical line and collect depths off the pipe locator so let's go ahead and turn the camera around let you see what I'm looking at so here I've got the subsite 2 the utility guard 2 subsite so what we want to do is we're going to turn this on. I've already paired the two, but I want to tell Point Man to log data off this unit as we walk along the cable. And we're going to tap this button right here to collect points in Point Man. So up in the menu icon on Point Man, I'm going to tap the menu icon and go to settings. And I want to tell Point Man what locator I'm using. So I'm going to choose this locator right here, MFLRX. And I want to choose subsite. Okay, let's go ahead and tap close. And we want to map out the electrical cable. It's already been located and painted. It runs through this grass area. Kind of hard to see. Grass has already been cut. And so the point of the whole point of what I'm getting ready to demonstrate is how we can uh, you know come behind locating these utilities and properly map them. And so as you can see, there's still some paint going that way. Uh, in the road but uh, unfortunately grass gets cut and uh, utilities get forgotten so let's go ahead and map this out we're going to tap new and point man and we're going to choose electrical we're going to choose cable we're going to tap ok and next thing we're going to do is we're going to tap gps point man is telling me in the top right that the mflrx uh, receiver is on so that means we're listening to this guy right here and then whenever we can get a depth and we are on top of our cable we're gonna we're gonna hold down this button right here your depth information and it's gonna place a point on point man and we're gonna just map out this electrical cable so right now we are in draw mode that means whenever we can get a depth we're gonna push down this button and it's gonna pass that information over to point man So we're in draw mode. We're going to go ahead and walk out this electrical cable. 
And we're going to take depths off this utility guard two pipe locator and they're going to pass it over to point man. So there's an electrical cable running out of this box and we're just going to walk it out along this street and draw this cable out. So let's go over here and we're going to push and hold this button down and it's going to add a point to point man. So whenever we're ready, we're just going to hold that button down have it point man added a point now we're just going to walk along this electrical cable we're going to collect another point so right here let's add another point point man added another point and we're just going to walk along this electrical cable we're going to collect one more point and finish this electrical line out I'm going to zoom in on the map really quick and show you how it's drawing this electrical cable out in Point Man. Okay, now I'm going to push this button one more time. Okay, now we've drawn the electrical cable out. I'm going to tap finish. And there is that electrical cable. Now let's go into the pedigree of the electrical cable and let's look at the information that this unit pulled over. So we've got our locator, we've got our depth for that particular point, we've got our current, we've got our frequency. Now you can tap previous or you can tap next to look at the other points. So there's the first point, there's the second point, and there's the third. And once again, there's the second point, you've got your depth, your current, and your frequency all stored within that point and you've got three points for this electrical cable now so now what you can do is you can send this to yourself in an email and then you can start mapping some of this stuff and entering it into a GIS database so I'm gonna tap OK I'm gonna send myself some KM, a KMZ file, a KML, some shape files I'm gonna choose Gmail I'm gonna send it to centerlinemapping.com centerlinemapping at gmail.com and I'm going to click send and now when I get back to the office I'm going to I'm going to start doing some more mapping and I'm going to enter this information into a database so that customers know the depths along these cables so thank you very much everyone for watching this video and that's how you pair point man to a utility guard two from subsite so thanks again everyone